morning. It's now day eight. Wow. Uh, day eight. Uh, today we're going to try and head up this little mountain thingy close by, which is meant to be a good look at Mount Fuji. Hopefully it's not going to be covered in clouds. It's sort of partially covered at the moment. Uh, then we're going to head over to the ice cave. Don't know what that's about. We're going to find out. And uh, a rock museum. And maybe if we get time, we're going back to that place that we had dinner for lunch. And then uh, train to Kyoto. And then see what happens from there. Good day. I guess this is just a little bit cold. The ice has started freezing over. But the view's still not bad. Unfortunately, I don't think these docks are open. That's a shame. So, we just got up to the top of Mount Kalguchiko, or whatever this place is called. It's up the railroad, up the rail car. And uh, the view of Kalguchiko City and the lake were great. Uh, Mount Fuji is actually there. So, it's a little bit cloudy at the moment. Maybe it'll clear up. We hope so. It's looking like it's clearing up. Just a little bit clearing up. So, uh, we're just going to hang around here for a while and uh, see what happens. Little shrine. Mm -hmm. If you pat the bunny, you are meant to get uh, strong feet, strong legs, strong legs, and wisdom. And wisdom if you pat the rabbit. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's a bunny and a rabbit. What's the other one? They're both bunnies. Oh, one's just a very strong bunny. One's just a very wise bunny. Mm -hmm. Give it some good scrimmages and scrimmages. Lucy's ready to go do a six hour climb. Yeah, yeah. Six hour climb. Six hour climb, come on. Looks like it's just starting to come out. What does that mean? Don't know. I'm not blessed with good relationships. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Okay, so we just got down from the mountain and uh, ended up in a cookie shop. Got some uh, 
shortbread cookies with different flavors that taste like uh, well, shortbread. Uh, so now we're just going to probably go to the ice cave. Uh, and then from there, depending on time, we'll uh, head to the gem museum. Because we've got to leave here by four to get back to our station to get to Kyoto in time. But uh, fingers crossed we get it all done. So we just arrived at the ice cave. Quite a lovely drive. Um, here's the entrance. But as you can tell, we might get very tired and we may get slippery. And that's the hell hole. You don't want to go down to the hell hole. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep, that's the hell hole. Why does it look like you lower intestine? So we just entered the ice cave area, um, but they said that you're going to need to crawl through tight spaces. Mm -hmm. A little bit nervous about that one. <laughs> Don't like small tight spaces, um, but it looks very pretty. I need a helmet. Great. I'm really not encouraged by the amount of scratch marks on top of the helmet. <laughs> not a good sign. Be good. Be good. I think I fixed my helmet. It's got the poo berries on it. But that's the entrance to the cave. It's looking okay now. Lots of stairs though. on the ground and I'm almost in my head. the cave. A lot of stairs, but how was that? Really good. Really good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there was man-made ice down there, but the icicles you saw have been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years, because it's perpetually ice. Go figure. I'm gonna fit. How was that? I couldn't fit. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're just on the track to the ice cave now. Um, but the road, or the track, is just so beautiful. There's snow everywhere. When I said ice cave before, I actually meant the wind cave. There's two different caves. Uh, so we're going to the wind cave now. aesthetic poo bay is today but uh, we're just entering the wind cave this one is not as cold as the other one and not as uh, short shallow sure I don't have to duck as much that's gonna be great
us total cave explorers. <laughs> venturing where no man has ever been before. Oh, no, venturing where no man has ever been before. Okay. Lick it. I'm not gonna lick it. Lick it. I don't wanna lick it. Lick it. You lick it. Lick it. You lick it. Just I. <laughs> Just arrived at the gem museum. Gonna have a look at some rocks. By the way, that lunch was amazing, superb, great. So that's as tall as me. 180 centimeters tall. I hope it's a little bit wider than I am. Fuji chan. Yeah, we've got to say goodbye to Fuji chan. Sorry, Fuji chan. We'll miss you. We're heading off to the train station now to get to Kyoto. Got to drop our piece of the car back on home. On the road again. Goodbye, Fuji chan. Goodbye, Fuji chan. We'll miss you. We're very good at hiding, playing hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Fuji chan. Mum, this one's for you. Just got to Shin Fuji Station. Uh, the car ride was a little bit less nice. This uh, city sort of looks a little bit depressing to live in. Uh, you know what? It's got a view of Mount Fuji, so we really can't complain. Uh, our train to Kyoto leaves in about 45 minutes. Uh, we have to change once at the station that I can't pronounce, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, geez, there's a board train now. Well, that was fast. Wow. Okay, um, wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Cool. Uh, guess I'll see you on the train. So we just arrived at Shinsuka station, something like that. Uh, we have to wait 20 minutes until uh, our train arrives to take us to Kyoto. From there it's only, uh, once we get on, it's only two hours, or less than two hours. So uh, it should be fast. The train was uh, a lot smoother than I expected, and a lot faster. You can feel the speed, but watching up there, it really wasn't that big a deal. 
I learned that you actually have to pop your ears because of like the G forces and shit like that. It's like not up, but it's lovely. Yeah. But it's real fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's dark outside, so I can't really show you anything. But I will show you when we get on the train about what it looks like. Bye. It's a little bit on the small side. Saying that this is it. Uh, but we have a lovely double bed, which is a small double bed, and uh, a lovely corridor. So uh, this is home for the next couple of days. But as my mum always says, it's only to sleep. Uh, it's a good thing though, because location-wise, I don't think we can beat it. Uh, we walk outside and we're on part of the main strips of Tokyo. Uh, no. Kyoto. Interesting fact, uh, they have the same letters just mixed around. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head out, uh, explore the town for a bit. I can't actually upload any vlogs uh, for the next couple of days. Maybe if I find a charging port, maybe I might be able to. But uh, you see these uh, prongs? They don't have an earth cable. So there's only two prongs, and uh, my charger is a three prong charger. So I'll have to figure something out there. But I'll keep recording and then. When I can upload them or off it, I'll upload them. Just walking around Kyoto. We've already gotten ourselves lost. I'm trying to look for food. Lucy insists on dragging us down the dodgiest looking alley she's can find. Mm -hmm. This is the latest one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Who cares? It's a lot quieter than uh, Tokyo, obviously. A lot wider and a lot less busy, a lot less people, uh, even on a Friday night. Uh, the streets look beautiful and it'll be an interesting place to walk around during the day, but uh, a little bit dodgier. A little bit dodgier. I think we got scammed out of about 1,500 yen, so about 15 Australian dollars for dinner, but if you hold on to that for the rest of your life, you're gonna go insane, so. Live and let learn. We're doing a tour of Kyoto uh, tomorrow, so that should uh, be good. But I think I've sorted out the uh, power problems. Went down to the hotel lobby, asked them, and they actually had a little adapter for me. So that's awesome. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for today. It's been a long day. We're going to try and get some sleep in our little matchbox bed here. But until uh, tomorrow, catch you later.